Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about some pistons and piston designs because, well, why not? So I got some pistons here and I've milled them down so we can see the guts in them. And I'll explain a little bit about pistons, about these pistons, not all pistons, but these pistons. And we'll kind of go over a few things. I just thought it was kind of neat. So as you can see, I took some pistons put them in the mill and milled them off. Not that I did the nicest job milling them, but that's not the, doesn't matter for that part of it, just to show you. So in order here, now I do technically, I'm missing, I am missing a couple pistons as far as pickup truck goes. There's actually two of these, two different ones that have ring height differences and the bowl is a little bit different, but size wise is a little bit different. And then there's also two of these. There's one that's the newer style and then the newer, new, new style. I just didn't have those ones just happen to be laying in the scrap bin on top of the scrap bin. These ones are laying all on top of the uh, aluminum scrap. So this is a 12 L piston. This is a VP44 piston. This is a 305 horse common rail. This is a 325 horse common rail. And this one is a 6.7, early 6.7. And then... The later, some of the later 6.7s cabin chassis is like this too. But anyways, what I wanted to talk about was why some pistons are inherently weaker than others. Now, one thing with the um, 12 valve, if you look at the 12 valve, that piston has a lot of space of material. Like there's a lot of solid pieces in there, right? Or a lot of solid mass in there, right? Like there's a lot, there's a lot of material there. Now you go into the VP44, basically kind of the same idea, right? This bottom hole where the wrist pin and all that, or where your connecting rod and wrist pin, all that area is very, very similar structure wise, right? Looking on this side, I might actually mill the other side down too like on the bottom, but I haven't done that yet. So maybe another video. So looking at those, both of those are big mass. That is the reason that a 12 valve one will hold quite a bit of power in stock form, like comparatively to what it originally was designed for. But also this is a hindrance because it doesn't cool down as easy because it is such a solid mass. So when you get it hot, it stays hot. Now what they did to combat that in a common rail so the first one here, I'll just, those two in the focus. This one, this hole, oil is actually sprayed in this hole and it's flooded with oil constantly. So basically, if you look at that, this cavity is being cooled all the time. Guess what? That inherently, that's the reason common rails will hold more EGT for longer is because of that. Now you get engine oil temperature, from doing that so you can overheat them which with common rails lots of times what happens is guys are like oh my coolant didn't know i didn't overheat my coolant they have no idea what their oil temperature is and they'll cook an engine not because the coolant temperature gets too high but the oil temperature gets too high lots of people don't realize that something that you find out when you're monkeying around with these things and burn a few engines of your own up so now you get into um, so that this one being the 305 horse, the early third gen, and then the later third gen. Now, if you there again, look at the mass in the piston, this mass versus this mass is better. There's more material in this one than the other one. Not astronomically, but it is, there is still more mass there. I'll talk about it in these... This will be in a different video talking about this, these two bowl designs because I want to wait until I have the 6.7, which is this piston here that you can't see yet. Um, I have the, the QSB style um, that I can machine or that I can do because I don't have a QSB one. I don't have one in the scrap bin, um, which is a 6.7 with the big bowl in it. But I want to actually be able to set them side by side and talk about the bowl design differences and all that Um with the two of them there because lots of people say that this piston is exactly the same as the QSB 67 very very similar but is not exactly the same so anyways um but 
that is the reason, the, like this piston design, lots of times people say, oh, it's because it's the material is way thinner and that, this is the reason that the, the bowl melts, like, like this one, the reason that this happens. Now, I personally, yes, there is a little bit less material there, but if it's firing properly, this doesn't happen. It, it'll ha this ha it happens to these if they're not firing properly too. So, but there's lots of these, lots of guys have these cranked up. So I personally think myself, personal opinion, that the, this design is not worse than this design. It's just that this one tends to have more injection failures than this one. Myself, personally. That's what happened to this one. I did a video talking about this. Don't put use junk in unless you test it. So, and then, so you're going from this and then now they've went back to this design again because this design works better, my opinion. I really like this. I really like this engine way better than this engine. And I really like the 6.7, even the newer platform 6.7. I really like the 6.7. Well, I like the displacement, but I like this bowl design way better than this big bowl. So... We will get into, like I said, we'll get into talking about that. But I just thought it was kind of cool. Now, the cooling jet, for you guys that don't know, um, hold on, let me put you on the stand for a second. So this is the oil jet, for you guys that don't know. This goes up inside the block, and it squirts oil into the bottom of the piston. All these pistons are the same design underneath. Now, basically what it does, if you look at the notch on the piston, which you can always tell which way the piston goes in the block, because this actually goes inside that notch. If you look inside there, get you guys closer to the light here. If you look inside there, you can see the hole where this squirts in. And the oil goes around inside there, comes out these, these two holes, and I've machined this off, and then squirts back out of, there's supposed to be two holes there. You can see where the indentions are. Um, indents in, in Intentions. The leftover of the holes are still there. And then the oil comes out of there and cools off. That's the reason that a common rail will hold more temperature. It has nothing to do with anything else. It has nothing to do with the common rail. It has nothing to do with that. It's literally to do with this piston design and this oil squirter. Now, what a lot of guys used to do... No, I guess that's a 5.9 thing. Don't worry. We won't even talk about that. Talk about that later. But that's, that's something that I wanted to show you. Like, and like I said, on the 6.7, it's exactly the same idea. I machined this one the other way to keep the holes there. So this one squirts in there just exactly the same way. Squirts down inside there. The oil goes in, goes across those two holes, and comes out right there. And that's what keeps the piston cool. That's another reason that I like the common rail platform, like blocking pistons and all that stuff in a 12-valve, because you can run crazy EGTs in it and it doesn't come unglued. Where, like with this bowl design, when you get it hot, it takes longer for it to cool off. So if you're pulling a big hill or something like that and you're staining heat, these pistons last way longer. As long as you don't have an injection failure, obviously. But that, if you have an injection failure, well, that's not the piston's fault. This is never the piston's fault, never. There's never a scenario where that's the piston's fault, ever. Never once. It's the monkey driving or an injector, or both. So hopefully, um, you know, if you guys have questions, I can do more videos talking about this stuff and I will do more videos when I get uh, the six, seven of this. Um, and I'll talk about, you know, the bowl design and what it's called and all that stuff. Um, I just didn't want to get into it in this video. I didn't want to make this video super long. It was just kind of, I just thought about machining these and I did it the other day and I thought it was cool. So I wanted to show you guys. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out with deciding on certain things and that is this is the reason that i myself like i like that common rail bottom end like the six seven p pump six seven there's one in that there's one in that and there's probably going to be one in the international and there's probably going to be one in the my white 95 which probably is not going to stay white because I'm going to buy a new body for it in whatever color it is it is. But anyways, it is one of those things where I really like that design because it inherently will stay cool longer 
and well, you can rat bag on it harder. So if you are thinking about building something, that is the reason, part of the reason, guys ask me, oh, why do that? That is part of the reason right there. So it keeps stuff from blowing up. Don't get me wrong. We're going to do more 12 valve stuff, but we actually will be doing, we're going to sneak for you guys is that is getting a new engine. There's nothing wrong with the engine that's in it, but that's getting a new engine so that uh, we're going to go chase after Gavin for you guys to know who Gavin is. Gavin works at Firepunk and he's got the highest horsepower number in a VE and we're going to go chase after him. So why not? We're building an engine for that to do the VE stuff. So that will be coming. So for you guys that are still watching, that's coming. It'll be coming this winter. So I'm gathering the parts. I have 90% of the parts to put the engine together. Uh, waiting for Evan from Ratman Performance to get the injection pump done. Waiting for some injector nozzles. And I still need to order rods. I haven't ordered the rods yet um, because that's like kind of the last big thing. But I wanted to get the pump first um, because I can order the rods anytime. I wanted to get the pump. And Evan's should be done in the next couple of weeks um, with it. And then uh, we're probably going to start building the motor for that. So that'll be cool. So stay tuned for that, I suppose. So if you guys are interested. So uh, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments. And remember, watch this video.